Okay, so welcome everybody online and welcome everybody in the studio. I'm Allison. This is Heated Mellow. So is there anything in particular you guys are wanting, needing? I know I've heard some low back. Tired? No, that's okay. Hey, we can spend the whole class in the child's pose if you want. That's cool. Um, okay, so we'll just kind of melt and we'll just kind of, you know, keep it nice and low key as Monday night usually is and we try to do. So with that, let's go ahead and get started in the child's pose. Just bringing your toes together, knees wide or together if that's calling to you, sinking your hips back to your heels. And then just stretching out, maybe take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Just taking these moments here. Maybe your thoughts are racing or you're just feeling really tense and overwhelmed. See if you can't invite yourself to set those things aside. If you can't leave them outside of this room, maybe you can at least set them aside away from your mat. Give yourself that permission that you might need to be right here for the next 60 minutes. Begin to check in just a bit deeper, observing how you're feeling physically, energetically, and emotionally. Being kind and gentle to yourself with whatever you happen to find. Coming back to that idea, that yama of ahimsa. Non-judging. Whatever you happen to notice, use as information through your practice. And as you move through your practice tonight, keep coming back to that idea of ahimsa and being gentle with yourself. Connecting in a little deeper with your breath. Notice how it feels as it flows in and it flows out. Again, using this as information, not as a means to judge yourself. I find it helps to keep in mind that the only constant in life is change. And what we experience in this moment is just this moment. Take a 
about five more breaths right here. Feeling that connection to the earth. that support that is always available. And take a breath in, sigh the breath out. Take two more, nice deep breath in, really fill up, let it go. One more deep breath in, fill up, sip in just a bit more. Exhale, sigh it out. Slowly and gently shift your way into a tabletop position. Just take time here, feeling the connection to the earth, maybe finding Banda. Maybe you just gently shift your weight back and forth or side to side. And when you are ready, start moving through cats and cows. Using your breath as a guide, allowing it to lead you through the movement. You might add side to side movements, more forward and back movements, anything extra that your body is calling for. Doesn't have to look like anything in particular. What feels good to you? Taking just a couple more rounds of breath here. And slowly and gently shifting onto one hip or the other, bringing your legs around in front, finding your sits bones. Really flex your toes, press through your heels, sit up tall. Hands come onto the floor, palms pressing into the mat next to your hips, Dandasana or staff pose. Breathing here, noticing. Allow tension to release from the crown of your head. Draining from your face, jaw unclenches. Shoulders melt just a little more away from ears. Feeling the tension melt down your spine and releasing into the earth. Keeping the length in your spine. Inhale, reach your fingers nice and tall overhead. Exhale, fold it forward. Maybe finding a gentle bend in your knees here. That bend in the knees can help release the low back just a little more. You can either stay in movement here, or maybe on the inhale, you lift your heart, reach it forward and exhale, wave it back down. Inhale, you can halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. Taking a few more breaths with movement or finding stillness. And taking a breath in, reach your heart forward, exhale, fold, breath in, breath out. Inhale, slinky roll it back up, bend that right knee, plant your foot inside of your thigh. Right fingers come behind, propping you up here, nice and tall. Inhale, reach your left fingers to the sky, and then exhale, twist, hug that right knee, look over your shoulder. And if you want to take it deeper and you're ready, you can do that too. We're still warming up. Mm -hmm. 
using your breath. And take a breath in, exhale, twist. Inhale, come back through center, extend your right leg, bend the left knee, plant the foot inside the thigh. Left fingers prop you up nice and tall. Inhale, right fingers reach. Exhale, hug the left knee, twist, look over your shoulder. Once again, taking it deeper if you would like, if you're ready for that. Don't force anything here. Continue to allow your breath to flow. Taking a breath in, exhale, twist. Inhale, come back through center, bringing the soles of your feet together, knees are wide, hands come to ankles or feet, sit up nice and tall for a Baddha Konasana, breath in, exhale, roll it down one vertebrae at a time, and then inhale, roll it back up, exhale, roll it down, inhale, roll it up. Taking a breath on the exhale, roll it down, pause at the bottom. Breathing into inner and outer thighs, your low back along your spine. Take a breath in, stay for the breath out. Inhale, slowly roll it, come all the way back up, shift back onto your hands and knees. Hips stay over your knees here, and then walk your hands long in front, melting heart. Anahatasana. Forehead might come to a block or to the floor. If you have the openness in your chin or your, your throat tonight, maybe your chin comes to the mat. Wherever you are, breathe. Allowing yourself to be present in this moment. Taking a breath in, stay for the breath out. Slowly and gently walk your hands back under your shoulders, coming into a cat, round the spine, press the earth away. And then inhale, come back through tabletop and exhale, down dog. Thighs press up and back, hips lift. Find movement here. Paddling feet, swaying hips, bending knees. And again, there's no right or wrong here. What feels good to you? And continue to be kind. It might dif look different than last week, and that's okay. Finding stillness, bend your knees, melt your heels just a little closer to the mat. Press your belly back to your thighs, look behind you. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, roll forward, find a high plank. Using your knees for support if you would like. Really feel that low belly hugging in, corseting around your ribs, helping to activate our vagus nerve. 
Take a breath. Exhale, slowly release all the way onto your belly. Inhale, gentle cobra. Exhale, release down. Inhale, gentle cobra. Exhale, release down. Inhale, gentle cobra. Feel your legs nice and heavy on the mat. Heart reaching forward, shoulder blades doing the work. Take the breath. Exhale, release your forehead down onto the mat. Bring your arms out wide to a T, palms facing down. And just breathe here. Maybe noticing space across your heart as it's touching the earth. Maybe you notice some stretch along your shoulders and your biceps. Bring your left knee out to the side. Left cheek, right cheek on the mat. Continue to breathe here. And as always, you have the option to stay right here just as you are, melt into the earth. If you would like to take this deeper into a pec and bicep stretch, you might begin to roll onto the right side of your body. I was gonna say no takers, all right. That half frog feels really, really good. Wherever you are, breathe. And if you find that you have gone too far, it's okay. Back out of it. You can change your mind. Taking about five more breaths here. Take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Slowly and gently come back through center. Arms stay at that T for a moment. And then left cheek comes to the mat, right knee comes out to the side, half frog. Maybe here you use your breath, feeling your inhale flowing in creating space and that exhale melts you deeper into your mat. Feeling the tension flow out of your body. You might notice subtle differences here. It's just different, it's not bad. And just as you notice that there are differences on this side of your body, what this side might need could be different. 
If you want to stay just as you are right here, please do. If you would like to take it deeper, you might roll on to that left side of your body. The beauty of yoga is that we have a thousand different ways to do one pose. And taking about five more breaths. Allowing yourself to relax even deeper into your mat. Taking a breath in, stay for the breath out. Slowly and gently come back through center, unwinding. And take a breath in, exhale, press back into child's pose. Keep knees together, hips sinking to heels, wrapping your arms around towards your feet. Shoulder blades melt open. If rabbit pose is calling to you and you'd like to come onto the crown of your head and lift your hips, please do. Just an option, not a command. Gently releasing hips back down if you lifted them. Take a breath in, stay for the breath out. Slowly shift through a tabletop position and make your way back to downward facing dog. You might take some movement when you get there again. It might be lazy movement. Maybe there's stillness. And then look to your hands, slowly and gently walk your feet to the top of the mat. Fingers on shins, halfway lift, hold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Take your feet hip width distance, hands on opposite elbows, exhale, ragdoll. You might have a really big bend in your knees here, allowing your torso to waterfall over your thighs. And take a breath in, stay for the breath out. Inhale, halfway lift, release the bind, exhale, fold. Inhale, slinky roll and rise. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Fingers reach wide and tall. Take up space and reach, stretch, stretch, stretch. Take another breath in, exhale, fountain to the right. Breathing into that side body. Inhale through center and exhale to the left. Inhale through center, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant hands, step back to a high plank. Maybe you slowly lower all the way down. Inhale, gentle cobra. And exhale, down dog. Taking a breath in and a breath out. We'll take two more nice, slow, kind of lazy sun A's. Add on as you would like. Look to your hands, step feet, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, slinky roll, fingers reach, stretch to the sky. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant hands, step back, high plank. Choose your flow or go straight to down dog. Keep in mind your neighbor's idea of mellow or lazy will be different than yours and it's okay. And look to your hands, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, nice long spine and fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fountain to the right. Inhale, center, fountain left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant hands and flow. Breathing here, five breaths, resetting in down dog or resting in child's pose your choice. Wherever you are, connect with your breath. Inhale, your right foot floats, pressing your heel back. Bend the knee and open the hip. Maybe take ankle circles or hip circles. Maybe your heel just comes towards your bum. Inhale, foot rises through center. And exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Fingers stay on the mat. Just gently shift your weight back and forth here. Start connecting in with your legs. You can shift. You can straighten that front leg. These are movements that we do a little bit often in this class, but they're really good for you and they feel good. Taking an inhale, bend the front knee, exhale, drop the back knee, arms lift, low lunge. You can keep your hands down if you want. Shoulders melt away from ears, creating space. Beautiful. On your inhale, maybe begin to lift your heart, adding a back bend. Fingers can stay lifted. Maybe you come to cactus. Maybe you even kind of reach those fingers back towards the floor. Inhale, fingers rise through center, and exhale your hands down, shift back, Ardha Hanuman, half slip. Flexing your toes back towards your face, windshield wipering from the hip. Inhale, halfway lift, shift 
forward, plant that left hand, right fingers reach to the sky, twist it open. Maybe you tuck those back toes and lift the back knee, moving deeper. You might even take that top hand to your low back or reach all the way around for your hip, finding a bind. Lots of length here. Take a breath in, reach your fingers to the sky. Exhale, plant hands, step back and flow. And left foot floats here, pressing it back behind you. Hips stay square for a moment. Then bend the knee, open the hip. Take ankle circles, hip circles. And inhale, foot through center and exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Shift your weight back and forth, connect in with your legs. Inhale, bend the front knee, drop the back knee, low lunge. Setting your hands up wherever you would like. Observing what might be different on this side. Use it as information. Shoulders melt. You might begin to take that back bend. Inhale, lifting your heart. You can take cactus arms or yeah, dangle those fingers behind you. Inhale, fingers reach to the sky and exhale, plant hands, shift back, Ardha Hanuman, half split. Toes reach back towards your face. You might wiggle them or windshield wiper that leg or some combination thereof. And then inhale, shifting forward, lunge legs, right hand plants, inhale, left fingers twist you open, reaching to the sky. And keep that back knee lowered or you can lift it, maybe you even take the bind. Wherever you are, lots of breath to inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. The exhale might reach your heart a little closer, beautiful. Lengthen the side bodies, breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, take a flow. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. Look to your hands, step or hop, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, slinky roll and rise. Fingers reach wide and tall. And exhale, hands, heart center. Samas Titi He. Take a moment, close your eyes. Connect to your feet. Really pressing down and out. Feel the crown of your head lift, beautiful. Lots of length here. Shifting your weight into your right foot, come light on the left toes, setting up for your tree pose or vrikshasana. When you're ready, turning your knee out to the side and that left foot floats to the inside of your right leg. 
You might stay here. Maybe your fingers float to the sky. Finding your drishti. Pressing a little deeper into the earth with that right foot. Reach through the crown of your head and fingers. Beautiful. Take a breath in. Exhale, release that foot down. Hip width distance. Inhale, fingers reach to the sky and exhale, fold. Peace fingers come onto your big toes. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You might have a bend in the knees. Adhangasthasana. You might open and close your jaw. Shake your head yes and no. You might even scrunch up your face and stick out your tongue. Nobody can see you. <laughs> Take a breath in and the breath out. Inhale, release the bind, slowly slinky roll it all the way back up. Fingers reach wide and tall. And exhale, hands, heart center, samastiti ki, closing your eyes. Connect to your feet once again. Crown of head lifting to the sky. And then your weight shifts into your left foot. Come light on the right toes. And when you're ready, that knee might turn open. Maybe the foot floats to the inside of your leg. Finding your drishti, that one unmoving point. You can even float your fingers if that's calling to you. Feeling the roots growing deeper out of that left foot. Pressing into the earth, fingers reach just a little higher. Take a breath in. And exhale, release that foot down, hip with distance and fold forward. Bend in the knees, sliding hands under your feet, fingers, not finger toes, toes, moving into your wrists. Bada hastasana or gorilla pose. And your finger toes eventually would come back around. I'll make it a thing yet. Breathe here. Once again, you might have a really big bend in your knees, allowing your torso to relax right on your thighs. It's beautiful for your hamstrings and low back. Take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant hands, step back, take your flow, or go straight to down dog. Right foot rises. Exhale, knee to nose with control, step it through. Dropping that back knee, both hands come inside of your right foot and it crawls to the outer edge of the mat. Lizard pose. So your foot might stay flat, or maybe you're ready to roll onto the outer edge, flexing your toes. You might take it into twisted monkey, pressing onto your thigh. Maybe you bend that back knee and reach all the way around, grabbing for that back foot. Options, not commands. Slowly and gently come back through center, staying here or moving on to forearms or even into a half pigeon. 
walking that foot across. If you notice that you're wanting to roll onto your right hip, see if you can't bring your left hip point back towards the mat. Top of your left foot is glued onto the floor. Find the length in your spine and then exhale, melt down from there. As we spend time in these positions like hip openers, often we can notice a lot of discomfort. And there's a difference between discomfort and pain if you're feeling sharp shooting pain in your knee, your hip, your ankle, back out of it. But if what you're feeling is discomfort, it's okay. And you can practice. Connect to your breath. Allowing it to flow in just a little deeper. Just a little slower. Growth and the expansion doesn't happen when it's easy. We can connect to our breath. And keep in mind that we can be gentle to ourselves. We might find that Things move just a little better or more. Take a breath in. Stay with a breath out. Slowly and gently. Make your way back to downward facing dog, taking any movement that you want or need to release that hip. And to inhale, that left foot rises. Exhale with control. Step your foot between your hands. Drop that back knee. Both hands come inside your foot as it walks to the outer edge of the mat, moving into a lizard pose. Foot stays planted or rolls onto the outer edge. You can take this deeper. Maybe you add the twist. So you reach all the way around for that foot, adding the quad stretch. There's no rush wherever you are. Take your time and breathe. Slowly and gently come back through center. You might come down onto forearms or move into half pigeon. Once again, as you move into your half pigeon, maybe you notice you're trying to roll onto your left hip. Can you bring that right hip point back towards the earth? 
from there, inhale, lift your heart, find the length in your spine, and then exhale, hold it down, keep the length. As you breathe, can you just observe? It might take practice. And you just label thoughts, feelings, emotions. And you just label them like they were clouds that you were guessing shapes in the sky. Observing that they are there. And then they float by and they are gone. Staying present here, <laughs> excuse me, for about five more breaths. <laughs> and then taking a breath in, stay for the breath out. Slowly and gently make your way back out into downward facing dog, taking any movement that you want or need. And when you're ready, dropping your knees onto the mat, flowing through a few cats and cows. And then shift onto one hip or the other. Feet come long in front and slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time coming onto your back. Take a full body stretch. Fingers and toes reach long. Take up space. Breath in and exhale. Hands and feet to the right. Bananasana. Adding on if you would like. Inhale, hands and feet through center, and exhale them to the left. Inhale through center and exhale, knees to chest up and asana. Gently rock side to side. Massaging low back, muscles along the spine. Setting up for an inversion of your choice. You can place legs up the wall if that's 
accessible to you. If you have a block, you can place legs in the air. Shoulder stand, head stand, and hand stand are options if they're calling to you. You're in shoulder stand, taking a plow pose, allowing toes to touch down overhead. If you're on your head or hand, thinking about coming into a child's pose. And slowly and gently, all of us release it down onto our back, up and asana once again. If your legs are up the wall, you're more than welcome to stay right there. Slowly and gently, rocking side to side. And then arms come open to a T, take a breath in and exhale, drop the knees to the left, pressing through that right shoulder. Finding a twist. Inhale, knees through center. Drop them to the right, pressing through the right shoulder or the left shoulder. Inhale through center and find a happy baby. Hands connecting anywhere on your legs, feet. And then releasing into a supta kanasana. Soles of feet come together. Knees are wide. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. You might take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Knowing that you took the time to show up for you this evening. And when you take the time to show up for you, it's the utmost in self-care. Making your way into your final resting shape, whatever that happens to look like for you. Allow your back body to melt into your mat. Noticing yourself sinking deeper into the earth. Feeling her embrace. Front body floats lighter than air. Allowing your face to soften, jaw unclenches. There is nowhere else to be. There is nothing else to do. Take rest. Shavasana.
The inner light that is within me sees and deeply honors that same inner light within each of you. Many blessings and much gratitude. Together we bow in peace and honor of ourselves, each other, and this practice. Namaste. Yogis. Thank you guys for being here. Thank all of you guys Thanks, online. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Yep. We'll see you again soon. Oh, next week, Patty will be here. She'll be subbing for me. So I had to take a little bit of time off. So, Thanks. but we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Thank you.